this is Chris with Printstat. What we're going to do is an unboxing of the Carlson BRX7. And what we have here is even if you go base and rover, it only come, each receiver comes in one case. So what we're going to do here is just go through a rover today. Uh, the only difference would be if you got a base and rover kit, the base would also have a tri brack in it. Uh, but this is just what you'd have for a network rover or just a regular uh, UHF rover. So uh, we got these nice tough cases uh, and small form factor, which is nice to keep it in your vehicles uh, and not take up much room for you. So um, we'll just unlock here. And this is what we got. So we got the receiver over here, our BRX7. Our BRX7 here comes with this protective cover on top. Um, I usually let the customers rip this off then when they get it, uh, so I keep this on here until it's time to deliver. And then here's the back, and then you'll see how uh, some of the cables in here will work, uh, and the antennas will work with this sensor. Uh, so under the receiver, what we have is our batteries. Each kit comes with two batteries per receiver, and that should last you about 12 hours through the work day, um, especially long work day. And what I like about these batteries is they even have an indicator here of how much power, uh, in quarterly, how much power the battery has. The, we actually just got this shipment in this morning, so I have to put these on charge before I put them back in the case, but we've got three, uh, one quarter power here. So each battery um, should last you about six hours in the field, and what's nice is you can even run two batteries in the receiver. So I'll put this guy back. And then while we're talking about batteries, what we have here is they have a nice slot in here for the battery charger, and they have different charging options. You have in here 12 volt for the car with USBs as well to charge your phone, and that just plugs right here into your dual bay charger, and they also have your normal uh, 120 volt. And what's nice about them is it, it comes without the plugs and they just have a whole uh, bunch of plugs in here depending on what type of outlet you have. And then we would just use this one. So. Now that we've got charging out of the way, what I like about these uh, BRX7s, they come with this uh, quick release. So most of the incidents I see where people dropping receivers is when they attach it to the rod or taking it off. So what's nice about this is it has a quick release where you can just keep this on the rod the whole time. And then when you need to attach the receiver, You can just thread that on, and this stays on the pole. And all you have to do is drop this on the pole. And to take it off, you can just release this button and remove it. So you don't have to thread that on your receiver. And that's where I see most of the incidents happen with uh, people dropping the receivers, unfortunately. All right. so. If you see this in here, this is the extension to get the UHF antenna up in the air a little bit more. What the receiver has here is downward facing. So what's nice about this adapter is we can get this antenna. Uh, you'll probably see in some of our other videos, uh, we have this uh, facing straight up. So. This is also your UHF antenna. There's a nice spot for it here in the, in the case.
And what we do is thread this on here, and now we have our uh, UHF antenna facing straight up to get some, hopefully get some better distance and performance out of the base then. So it's on here. This will thread on here. And now we have our antenna facing up. So this bracket, I really like what they did with this bracket and how it's already included. Uh, that's really nice of Carlson to include that for us. Uh, it's a big help in getting our distance. So that's the extension for that. And then you'll probably see this other antenna in here. This is your 900 megahertz uh, radio, your sped, spread spectrum for if you're going to connect to uh, any sort of like Trimble uh, bases. So that's in here. And you, if you wanted to, you can also attach it to the extension. But if not, you can also attach it here to the receiver. So that's another option. And what's great about this, this is just one part number. You don't have to worry if all the accessories are included from this one part number. You get all this. So Carlson was also nice to include a tape measure in here. This is a 12 foot tape measure in feet and inches and also uh, decimal feet. And then you'll see these cables in here. And what we have here is this could just be your uh, data cable if you're connecting it to an external radio. Uh, this is what you'd use. This is a Limo connection that you would just attach to the five pin on here. And then they also have one, if you're looking to do, instead of running internal battery, this is a Limo to plug in that same five pin, but it also has a connection to attach it to these alligator clips they have in here. So if you brought a um, battery with you in the field or had to make it through the rest of the day with uh, your truck battery, your car battery, you can attach it this way and then you'll use that for your power going forward. So connect it there. Got these on your car battery or your uh, another battery if you wanted to and then it plugs right into there so then you have your not only do you have your battery in there, but then you could run your base all day for anything going forward. So um, that's what's great about this, this Carlson, only one part number, and you're getting all this equipment. Uh, there is something that you can order um, if, if you're thinking about, well, I don't see anything um, for that other slot in here, this other Limo. This one right here, this seven is for um, data transfer. That is a separate cable that you'd have to purchase separately. It's not part of the kit. Um, it's a $300 cable. So if you, if you need that, it has the web IU, so you can just use Wi-Fi, so it's not really needed. So they didn't include it in the kit. But if you wanted a hard cable to go from the receiver to your computer, they have one available. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Uh, but if you have more questions than what we covered here, or uh, want to learn something else, uh, we'll have more videos in the future, or you can contact us directly. Uh, one, number, one way is our phone number. It's 1-800-811-9889. Uh, you can also go to our website at printostat.com, or you can even send uh, myself an email. It's survey at printostat.com. So thanks, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.